Hello and welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. So today I'm going to show you the top three reasons why I think people struggle with corners. These are the things that I remember being difficult and the things that I hear you guys talking about. Okay, so number one, when taping corners, you need your mud mixed thinner than most other muds. So you want your corners thinned down just a little bit extra. So I have my mud right now at about the thickest I would possibly tape a corner with. So it's not actually very runny. You could go a bit runnier, but it starts to get hard to handle. So it's got to be mixed. You don't want to use just ready mixed out of the bucket without giving it a little spin or a stir. So you can even just put a little bit in a pan, get a little bit of water and mix it around until it's thinner and easier to work with. So here's a quick little bonus tip. This is a renovation. So this side is painted and this side is bare drywall. The bare drywall is going to suck the moisture out of the mud faster than the painted side. So it doesn't hurt to apply the mud to the painted side. And I'll get to the next biggest reason real quick. drywall make sure you have no voids if your mud's too thick it's gonna be a real struggle trying to get the mud out from underneath the tape next let's take our piece of tape I'm gonna cut it to length here Next, you want to pre-crease it. Lay your tape into the corner. I like to really quickly take my six inch knife or whatever knife I'm using and very quickly just kind of push it into the corner. Okay, let's get into the next thing that I think is the problem that most people have. So most of the time, if you're a beginner taper, you're going to probably be using a brand new taping knife. Now brand new taping knives have very sharp square edges and they dig into the tape. So as you're working away trying to get the mud that's too thick out from underneath the tape, you're also using a brand new knife where the tips are too sharp. So you're tearing the tape, you're overworking it, and it's just kind of a nightmare. So what you can do is sand the edges of your knife blade. So just take a piece of sandpaper, take off that hard edge here, and then round over the corners just a tiny bit so that they're not so sharp and pointy. If you take a look at mine, you can see they're just the littlest bit worn in. They're still pretty sharp, but they're not so pointy. So they're not gonna tear the tape. Okay, next, let's wipe this out. So if your mud's thin, it's just a couple passes. And if your knife's dull, it's not gonna tear the tape. Okay, next let's get into finishing the corner. And this is the last reason that I think that people struggle with corners. So they try to do both sides at the same time. So when you try to do both sides at the same time, let me get a bit of mud on here. So I've got it on one side. I've got it on the other. Okay, let's make this side pretty. There we go. Nicely finished. Okay, let's make this side pretty. Oh, I just ruined this side now. So the trick is, is to just do one side at a time. Let this side dry and then come back and do the other side the next day. Feather my edge, feather my edge, 
So now I'm gonna let this dry overnight at least, and then I'm gonna come back and do the other side. So that is what I think the three biggest struggles are with learning how to do corners. I think most people make those mistakes when they first try to do drywall. So I hope this helps. I hope you're getting good results on your project, whatever it is you're working on. Thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. If you found this video useful, you know, you can do all them like subscribey things or not. It's your choice. My choice now is to end the video. So go build something guys. Do whatever it is you're working on. Stop watching this video.